Today, I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how you can start editing YouTube videos on your iPhone using iMovie. This beginner's guide will teach you everything you need to know to start editing your YouTube videos. And after this video, you'll be well on your way to becoming a big YouTuber. So let's just get right into it. Before we get into that video, I just wanted to say if you don't have an iPhone and you think you need like the iPhone 12 to be able to do good editing on an iPhone, you really don't. I do everything on an iPhone 8 and you could go on eBay and buy a 6S for around $100. And it would do the same as my iPhone 8. But anyways, let's just continue with the video. So first thing if you haven't already, make sure to go download the iMovie app off the App Store. And it's available on iPhone or iPad. So after you search it up and download it, you're just going to go ahead and open it. And the first thing you want to do when you get in is press this big plus sign right here. Then it's going to ask you if you want to make a movie or a trailer. You're just going to select a movie. And now here is where you actually select the footage that you're going to be using in your video. So what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and go through and select all the pictures and videos that you want to put in your YouTube video. Once you're done selecting all your videos, you just want to go ahead and go to the bottom of your screen and press create movie. Also, if you're wondering what video I'm editing with, we're just going to be editing with some of my drone footage. But anyways, after you do that, we'll put it in this nice timeline for you. As you can see, some of the footage isn't where I'm wanting it to be. Like my intro isn't at the beginning of the video. So if I want to drag my intro to the beginning of the video, I just want to tap and hold on the video and I'm just going to drag it over to the beginning of the timeline. Once you have it where you want it to be, you're just going to drop it and it will be placed in that section of the timeline. Now, you guys might be wondering what these icons are for in between the clips. But those are actually the transitions between the clips. And if you press on the icon, you can select the different transitions. Most of the time, you just want to be using the one bar, which is none. But if you're going from like your intro to the actual video, you can use some different intros. And they will be in the middle between every clip. So I would just recommend going to all your clips and changing their transitions. After you do that, let's say you want to trim down some of your videos and get rid of some excess footage. What you want to go ahead and do is go to the part you want to cut out and then you're just going to go ahead and press on the clip in the timeline and go ahead and press split. And then it will go ahead and split that clip into two different clips. And then you just want to go ahead and select the clip you don't want to keep and you can just press delete. And just go ahead and keep doing it with all the clips that you need to do. Next, let's talk about when you select a clip on the timeline, what features it gives you. As you can see, when you press on the clip, this should be the first thing that comes up, and as you can see, you can split clips, duplicate clips, and delete clips like we've seen before. But now if we press the gauge icon, we can control the speed of the clip. So we can speed it up or slow it down. And the next one is where we can actually add text into our video. So you can just go ahead and go through all of these and find the one that you like, or the one that best suits the job. And then after you select which one you want, you just want to press on the text. And then there will be a pop-up which says you can either edit or delete it. And then you just want to type in whatever you want to type in. And then just press done and you'll be all ready to go. And finally, the last one is filters, which to be honest, I've never really used before. But it's an option if you need it. Also, just something I do a lot in my videos. If you want to zoom in on a certain object, what you want to do is select the clip in your timeline. And in the upper right hand corner, there will be a magnifying glass. You just want to go ahead and press on that. And then you would just zoom in like you normally would on an iPhone or an Android and just adjust the footage to your liking. Now, let's just go over some of the features that iMovie has to offer that you would be using in your YouTube videos quite often. As you can see in the left corner of the screen, there's a plus icon. You just want to go ahead and press on that. And this will bring up a lot of different options. But for starters, some of the ones you'll be using are video and photos. And those just allow you to add more videos and photos later down the line, maybe some ones you forgot from your original timeline. And to add videos or photos, you just wanna go ahead and select either one, and then you just select all. And here, you'll just go ahead and select one of the clips that you forgot or you just wanna add in. After you do that, it will add it in. And you can just go ahead and do whatever you want with it. Also, if a clip's too loud, you can come down to the toolbar, select the volume icon, and you can turn it up or turn it down manually. Also, if you want to voice over your clips like I'm doing right now, you can press that plus sign again, and then down here, you can just go ahead and select voiceover. 
After you do that, it will bring up this pop-up right here, and then you just want to go ahead and press record. Then it will have a countdown and start recording your voice. And then once you're done recording, you just want to go ahead and press stop, and then there will be a couple options. You can cancel it, retake it, review, or accept. I just press accept most of the time and review it myself. And if I don't like it, I just delete it and redo it again. So let's say you want to add music now into your videos. What you want to go ahead and do is go back to the plus sign feature and you just want to go ahead and press on audio. After you go to audio, you can press on soundtracks and they have a big variety of different music you can put in your videos for free that won't get copyrighted. But on the other hand, let's say you downloaded some NCS music or any other copyright free music. What you want to go ahead and do is go to the plus features, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and press on files. After that, it will bring you to here, and now you just want to look through all your files, find the right audio file, and then just go ahead and place it in the timeline. After that, your music will be added. And I would recommend if you're talking over your music, I would recommend turning it down to 30 to 25%. Otherwise, it's just going to be insanely loud and you won't be able to understand your voiceover clearly. Also, just keep in mind, if you sent any screen recordings from your computer to your phone, those will most likely end up in your files. So if you're missing some footage, I would recommend going into your files and seeing if they're there. So once you're done editing, just go to the upper left-hand corner and press Done. Now that you're done editing your video, I'm going to show you how to upload it to YouTube straight from your phone. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to the bottom of your screen and press that upload button. After that, you'll get a lot of different options, but what you want to go ahead and do is start scrolling through the apps until you find YouTube. And then you just want to go ahead and press on that. After that, you'll get this pop up right here. And here you can add title, description, category, tag, size, whatever you want really. The only thing you can't add from here is a thumbnail, so I would recommend just uploading it as unlisted or private and then adding the thumbnail on a computer or the studio app, but that's just up to you. So last thing, you just want to go in the upper right hand corner and press share and it will start uploading to YouTube. So that's how you edit YouTube videos on your iPhone with iMovie. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you haven't, give this video a like, and make sure to subscribe to this channel so you get more content just like this. Also, let me know down in the comments what tutorials and videos you guys would like to see. Because I'm always looking for new ideas and your help would be very much appreciated. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.